A retarder is a device used to augment or replace some of the functions of primary friction-based braking systems, usually on heavy vehicles. Retarders serve to slow vehicles, or maintain a steady speed on declines, and help prevent the vehicle from running away by accelerating down the decline. They are not usually capable of bringing vehicles to a standstill, as their effectiveness diminishes as vehicle speed lowers. They are usually used as an additional assistance to slow vehicles, with the final braking done by a conventional friction braking system. As the friction brake will be used less, particularly at higher speeds, their service life is increased. Friction-based braking systems are susceptible to brake fade, when used extensively for continuous periods, which can be dangerous if braking performance drops below what is required to stop the vehicle a euro for instance if a truck or bus is descending along decline. For this reason, such heavy vehicles are frequently fitted with a supplementary system that is not friction-based. Retarders are not restricted to road motor vehicles, but may also be used in railway systems. The British prototype advanced passenger train used hydraulic retarders to allow the high-speed train to stop in the same distance as standard lower-speed trains, as a pure friction-based system was not viable. Engine brake equals diesel-powered vehicles equals diesel engine vehicles do not have a throttle. Diesel engines regulate power output purely by the volume and timing of fuel injected into the combustion chambers. The engine braking generated by creating partial vacuum with a closed throttle at each intake stroke and petrol gasoline engines does not apply to diesel engined V high sleezer Euro diesel engines are quite free running. However Clessiel Cummins, founder of Cummins Engine Company, realized that by opening the cylinder exhaust valves when the piston reached top dead center, rather than at the end of the power stroke, the accumulated compressed air in the cylinder could be vented before it could act as a spring to drive the piston back down again. By doing this, the engine acts as an air compressor, with the energy coming from the transmission used to compress the air, hence slowing the vehicle. The amount of power extracted from the transmission can be up to 90% of the rated power of the engine for certain engines. In a compression release engine braking system for a turbocharged internal combustion engine, Excessive stress associated with opening the exhaust valves of the engine near top dead center of engine compression strokes when the engine is turning at high speed is prevented by reducing the intake manifold pressure from what it otherwise would be at that high speed. This is done by retarding the turbocharger so that its speed is less than it otherwise would be at high engine speed. This type of retarder is known as a compression release brake. A disadvantage of this system is that it becomes very noisy in operation if the exhaust muffler is faulty. Its use is therefore banned in some locales. Equals exhaust brake equals. Exhaust brakes are simpler in operation than an engine brake. Essentially, the exhaust pipe of the vehicle is restricted by a valve. This raises the pressure in the exhaust system, forcing the engine to work harder on the exhaust stroke of its cylinders. So again the engine is acting as an air compressor, with the power required to compress the air being withheld from the exhaust pipe, retarding the vehicle. Turbochargers retarders that restrict the flow of exhaust gas can also help in increasing the exhaust pressure to achieve the same objective. A disadvantage of this system is that the exhaust pipe has to be engineered to accommodate the high pressure generated. The retarding horsepower available from this system is significantly lower than other systems. It can cause a marked increase in engine oil carryover out the crankcase ventilation system. Hydraulic retarder Hydraulic retarders use the viscous drag forces between dynamic and static vanes in a fluid filled chamber to achieve retardation. There are several different types which can use standard transmission fluid, a separate oil supply, or water. A simple retarder uses vanes attached to a transmission drive shaft between the clutch and road wheels. They can also be driven separately via gears off a drive shaft. The vanes are enclosed in a static chamber with small clearances to the chamber's walls, as in an automatic transmission. When retardation is required, fluid is pumped into the chamber, and the viscous drag induced will slow the vehicle. The working fluid will heat, and is usually circulated through a cooling system. The degree of retardation can be varied by adjusting the fill level of the chamber. Hydraulic retarders are extremely quiet, often inaudible over the sound of a running engine, 
and are especially quiet in operation compared to engine brakes. Electric retarder Electric retarders use electromagnetic conduction to provide a retardation force. An electric retardation unit can be placed on an axle, transmission, or driveline and consists of a rotor attached to the axle, transmission, or drivel in the euro, and a stator securely attached to the vehicle chassis. There are no contact surfaces between the rotor and stator, and no working fluid. When retardation is required, the electrical windings in the stator receive power from the vehicle battery, producing a magnetic field through which the rotor moves. This induces eddy currents in the rotor, which produces an opposing magnetic field to the stator. The opposing magnetic field slows the rotor, and hence the axle, transmission or drive shaft to which it is attached. The rotor incorporates internal vanes to provide its own air cooling, so no load is placed on the vehicle's engine cooling system. The operation of the system is extremely quiet. A hybrid vehicle drove a train uses electrical retardation to assist the mechanical brakes, while recycling the energy. The electric traction motor acts as a generator to charge the battery. The power stored in the battery is available to help the vehicle accelerate. Regenerative braking and eddy current braking are separate types of electric braking. Regenerative braking might not be classified as a retarder as it uses no extra physical hardware in addition to the existing rotor stator pair of the motor. It effectuates braking by using the electric field created by the rotational inertia in the rotor stator that is delivered into the rotor by the momentum of the vehicle, wheels. Additional circuitry in the controller is used to manage this current flow from the stator windings into the battery, some of which dissipates as heat within the circuitry of the controller. In contrast, eddy current retarder brakes comprise a distinct and purpose-built static armature and rotor that are explicitly made and added to a vehicle for braking and dissipation of heat and not for motive power. It is a purpose-built system distinct from the motor. Finally, Dynamic braking is a term used to describe a complex use of controller braking where the controller can be used for regenerative braking or by switching the circuit to feed the current to resistors in the controller. Rheostatic braking can be achieved whereas an eddy brake relies on eddy currents to create magnetic resistance which is dissipated as heat. The rheostatic braking relies on controller circuitry resistors which create heat by dissipating current. Some dynamic braking vehicles describe the rheostatic braking as plug braking. In particular, forklift dynamic braking has been developed to take advantage of combining this type of braking with controllers specialized to quickly reverse vehicle direction. See also, Doughty retarders, dynamic braking, retarder. References External links, Pennet.com, Overview of Retardation Systems. Jakebrake.com a manufacturer of engine brakes, voidturbo.com, a manufacturer of oil and water, based hydraulic retarders, apt-p.com, the advanced passenger train hydrokinetic brakes, frenelsa.com, a manufacturer of electric retarders, zelisl.com, a manufacturer of electric retarders, telmorza.com, a manufacturer of electric retarders.